damage. Right, let's see. Error. Snality mode. Construction worker, fire brigader, law enforcement. What's this? Let's do construction worker. Here, what's this? It's an alarm clock. I'll take it. Ah! Oh, that won't work. Okay. Lab analysts terminal. Let's see what this has to say. Reminder: password security. This is your annual reminder that all terminal and mainframe passwords are to be changed on a monthly basis. Failure to do so may result in automated changes. Suspension of network privileges and or disciplinary actions. Please do your part in keeping our jet system secure. Password change. According to our records, your terminal password has not been changed in three months. For security purposes, your password will now be reset. Your new password is 9YB3N. This is an automated message. Please do not reply. I hope that's saved. Um... shot project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, mm -hmm. I wish I was headed up there with those guys. It'd be nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. Hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're going to get fired. The supervisor is already itching to get rid of us, especially since it's taking us longer than we promised. So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? <sighs> Soon we'll be doing push-ups, eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. Of course I remember. But I'm trying not to imagine getting my head blown off when I'm on the front line, and keeping my mind on work is helping me deal with the problem. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but it's important to me, okay? All right. Sorry. Look. Why don't you toss this tape, and we'll start a new one. Okay. Uh, accessing system. Lab controls. So, connection to the protocol. Please contact the technician for assistance. Security door control. Open door. Turn it in. 
Okay. Get out of the fucking way. Institute pistol. Shock baton. These guys are kind of creepy looking. Get out of the way so I can... Really? Where at? Jesus Christ, dude. Duct tape. It has adhesive. Hmm, what is this? Toy alien? Toy rocket ship. Dude, can you just calm your tits? Terminal. Okay. After six months of the United States Space Administration, USSA, okay, finally approved ArcJet as a contractor for the Marshot Project's propulsion and communication systems. Having my team start working on the XMB booster before we secured the contract was a gamble, but it looks like it's going to pay off big. We have a lot of details to hash out with the agency, and we have a lot of work ahead of us, but I think this contract will finally put ArcJet on the map. I was fortunate to be able to add Dr. Rory McClellan to the XMB booster team today. There are a few people. Oh, damn it. There are a few people who can match Dr. McClellan's aptitude with nuclear propulsion systems, so this truly was a co coup. It cost the company a heck of a lot of money to hire him away from his military contracting job, but I'm sure it will be. Be well worth every dollar. We promised the USSA that the booster would be ready at least a year before their July 2078 launch date. With Dr. McClellan at the helm, we should be able to meet that deadline with time to spare. 
As the holiday season approaches, it's time to take a step back and look at everything that's happened to ArcGIS Systems this year. Five months ago, my company was struggling to make ends meet. Now with the XMB booster and the deep range transmitter projects in full swing, ArcJet appears to have received a second chance. Thanks to Dr. McClellan, we're on schedule and under budget. The USSA is thrilled with our progress and is already talking to me about future contract or contracts after we deliver. I don't think it's possible to be ending the year on a better note. Dr. McClellan's informed me that we have a problem with the XMB booster. The USSA is demanding that the engine can't exceed their strict weight allowance, but thanks to the uranium refinement subsystem, we're a few hundred tons over. We're now one month behind schedule, and I'm frankly starting to panic. Dr. McClellan assures me he'll find a solution soon, but that isn't helping me get to, get to sleep at night. The USSA has started their public relations campaign for the Marsha project, and ArcJet Systems is finding itself caught right in the middle. In the last week, I think I, fi I filed 15 separate interviews, fielded, sorry, fielded 15 separate interviews with everyone asking the same questions over and over again. They all want to know when we're delivering the XMB booster so they can take their pretty pictures of the USSA test firing it for the first time. And all I can do is keep smiling and lying through my teeth that the XMB will be delivered when it's ready. I hope Dr. McClellan solves our weight problem soon or we're never going to get a contract with the USSA ever again. I can't believe it, but Dr. McClellan's team finally solved the XMB's weight problem. Now all we need to do is finish tightening a few screws and hoist the thing out on, into the engine core. If we're lucky, we'll be able to test fire the booster right after the new year. It's funny how things seem so bleak and chaotic during the year, but it all comes together for us just in time for the holidays. We've searched, we've secluded, er, bleh, we've scheduled a photo opportunity tomorrow for the XMB booster's first test firing in the engine core. We're going to stick them all down in the control room and let them shoot their pictures through the thermal glass window after Dr. McClellan gives them a short explanation of how the booster works. The engine puts out a hell of a lot of thrust, so it should be quite a spectacular show. It's been two weeks since the accident before the XMB booster's test firing event. Somehow our phot photographer managed to wander past security and into the engine core a few hours early. Dr. McClellan was running a quick test on the booster, letting it run for only a few seconds to make sure it was ready for the demonstration and burn the photographer to a into ash. Thank God no one else saw what happened. I'm having Brent take care of the remains. After all, that's why I hired him. If word of this accident goes public, we'll be shut down and I may as well put a for sale sign out front. Wow. That's all of the unrest overseas is making the USSA nervous about proceeding with the Marsha project. They're telling me that they may have to delay a year or more depending on what happens. If that's true, we'll just have to make do with the proceeds from the deep range transmitter contract, which we've already completed. I'm trying to keep everyone's spirit up around here, but it's getting harder and harder with the world falling apart around us. Hopefully our government will work things out and we can all get back to work. That's fair enough, he just wants to get to work and watch. Master alarm clock. Stuck. What am I stuck on? Dog, move. Get out of the way. Hey. Just needed to chill a little bit. That's all he needed to do. Is 
so aluminum. Where is it? Aluminum canister. As requested, I've had a floor safe installed in the front office area. This should allow you to pay for any incoming deliveries or store valuables until they can be transferred to a more secure location. Let me know if you have any issues with the safe or the locking mechanism. Okay, press. I realize that our announcement regarding the Mars Shop project has caused quite a lot of excitement with the national media. If any members of the press are requesting statements or interviews, please direct them to our public relations department. Do not attempt to answer any questions or give any information regarding the project unless pre-authorized pre-authorization has been provided. Okay. This is a pretty hefty looking gun. Institute pistol. feel about going in by myself. But oh. Excellent. 